What's up, I'm Steve Green, you're watching Tough Talks. Today we're talking about how girls body shame guys. And I have about fucking had it. With you rejecting my dick pics. There's a lot of people out there who body shame guys for sending dick pics out. And I'm looking at you, Lacey Green, I'm looking squarely at you. Stop telling girls it's okay to dress however they want, but guys, oh, we can't send our dick pics to you. Okay. Yeah, that's real fair. Guys spend their whole lives growing a dick. We're born with what scientists call uh, little baby dicks, right? We mature, we become toddlers, our dicks start to slowly grow, and then we reach maturity. I remember my dick really grew when I was like probably 12. Uh, my dick started getting some real width to it. It started getting some real weight to it as well. Couldn't really ever weigh my dick, but I could tell you right now that my dick probably gained an ounce or something when I was like 13 years old. For a time, I would say that a lot of people thought maybe from seeing me, me in my gym shorts that I had like a little tiny little baby dick. But I, but I didn't. I, I had a, I think I had a reasonably sized dick, but, but I didn't like get myself hard before PE. A lot of girls, you know, when I was in middle school, you know, would body shame me by being like, oh, Steve's got a little tiny little baby dick. And, uh, you know, it's just, well, it's just not cool. Girls always point out that guys body shame girls by being like, hey, you know, you're wearing like a really low cut top or like, you know, oh, you shouldn't be wearing that because you look fat or whatever. But girls would always tell me, you know, if you, you want to see a little baby dick, look, look over in Steve Green's direction. That would always hurt my feelings quite a bit, right? So I, I kind of had it in my head for a long time that I had just like a little tiny little baby dick and it probably wasn't good for nothing, right? And then one day I was able to find that I had a bigger dick than just what a baby has. But the important thing is, is that I was able to finally look at my dick and say, this dick is my dick and I'm owning my dick. And so I started taking pictures of my dick as a way to show them that like, hey, here it is, I'm owning it. Like, I'm owning my dick now. And that's why I send anonymous pictures of my dick to girls, is so that they know, hey, I'm owning this thing. Like, I am proud of my dick. And, like, I think I have a better dick than most people, so I like to send my dick to, to girls, just like see how they react and like, you know, try to share that with them and like let them know, hey, I'm putting this out there. What do you think of my dick? And will you get back to me? I see a lot of girls, especially on Facebook, on in Snapchat, in my personal email, in my personal Snapchat messages, complaining about getting sent a dick pic. You're kind of being a bitch because I am sharing something with you that I am now okay with and before I wasn't. You're kind of taking my feelings and just casting them aside because to you, yeah, okay, yeah, it's just a picture of somebody's dick, but to me, it's, it's a long road of a dick that I grew into maturity and like now I can call that dick my own and like be okay with it and look in the mirror at it. Guys are body positive, okay? We love boobs. Send us pictures of your boobs. Send us pictures of your butts. Girls are not body positive. They're actually body negative because girls make guys feel ashamed of their dicks. And if I'm getting a little bit emotional, I'm sorry. But when guys trust you enough and it takes a lot of trust, it takes a lot of strength that you build up over a couple years to be okay enough just to just to click that fucking camera picture, right? Just to click that button and get that picture of your dick. Even just to like turn the flash on and get that picture of your dick takes a lot of fucking courage. And when we send you that dick, you say I'm blocking you or like, hey, like don't you ever fucking do this again in caps. Like that is the ultimate form of body shame and shame on you guys for making us feel ashamed of our dicks and for making us shame. Sorry, excuse me. Shame on you guys, excuse me. Shame on you guys for making us ashamed of our bodies because we just don't try to do that to you. We love your bodies. Like, if it was up to me, you guys would be naked everywhere. And I'm okay with you being naked. Just know that I'll be looking because it's tight. <laughs> but like, if you're walking around naked, I'm gonna be looking because that's kind of fucking awesome. If a guy takes out his dick, girls start screaming and like be like, no, don't fucking take your dick out. And like, this is a public forum. And like, no, like, like, you know, there's a lot of families out here and all this shit. Feminists are gonna thumbs down this video. And what can I say about that, man? It's just too bad because I'm just a real guy trying to be real with you, trying to send you pictures of his dick without everyone blocking him. And uh, fuck all of you guys for blocking the shit out of me my whole life, pretty much. 
Uh, I've been sending pictures of my dick for probably 12 years and I've been getting blocked probably all 12 years. So thanks a lot for making me feel like shit about myself. I'm fucking okay with my body, okay? Deal. Start dealing with that shit. Here, you're meeting the, the world's first man who is not troubled by his body. Guess what? There's gonna be a fucking whole lot more of us after this video, I'll tell you that much. Fuck y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And follow me on Snapchat, man. I have a blast on there. And follow me on Twitter, you know, if you ever want to just like, I don't know, be a dad. Follow me on Twitter. Also, I'm on Facebook. Steve Green Comedy on Facebook. Uh, buy my book. Buy my fucking book. Thank you.